I just got off the phone with a buddy of mine. And uh, we were talking to Browns, and um, the more I talked, the more I came to my conclusions and my senses. I want him gone now. I want Stefanski fired today. And I'm going to tell you why. This loss was inexcusable because you had a head coach who had a chance to win this game by just adapting on the fly. But instead, he chose to throw to a bunch of practice squad receivers and use his tight end heavy game. But this is what really pisses me off about Stefanski. He does not know how to use Kareem Hunt. He does not know how to use David and Joku. Like Kareem Hunt and David and Joku should never come out of the game. Kareem Hunt is our David and Joku. I'm sorry, he's our best tight end we have. Who proved it yesterday? David and Joku can get open. He's a matchup problem. Uh, Kareem Hunt should have been playing slot. That he should not come off the field. And if Stefanski doesn't lose, if he if he loses next week against Pittsburgh, he's going to be 0 and 4 against Pittsburgh and Baltimore. And he would have been 1-5 and five if fucking Mayfield didn't bail him out against Cincinnati. So that's 1-5 and five in the division. Also, if you want to go into context about it, contextual about it, um, Freddie Kitchens beat the Ravens like a drum last year, and he even beat the Steelers. So he was 2-2 two and two against the Ravens and the Steelers last year. It should have been 3-1, and one actually, but we blew the second, uh, the second Steeler game. So, I want Stefanski fired. Unless he wins Sunday. He has to win Sunday. If he doesn't win, I would fire him today after that. This is a performance right now that I would fire. Look, everyone's, oh, you guys are 10 and 6 at worst. I mean, you, you, he turned everything around. Did he? Or did Mayfield turn everything around? Because I happen to believe Baker Mayfield turned everything around. I mean, sure, Mayfield fumbled away the game. There's no doubt that, but it shouldn't have came down to that. This game, you know, he did not try to establish the run one bit yesterday. He started passing from the first first series to the end of the game. He did not once try to establish a run. And there was a uh, study, Bill Barnwell. They did not stack the box. The Browns weren't creating the running lanes to run in. That's why you give Kareem Hunt the ball, because Kareem Hunt makes his own running lanes. You don't watch Nick Chubb feel the line of scrimmage to, to tiptoe around. So I want uh, Stefanski fired. He's proven to me that he can't use personnel. When you got two, name another coach in the league that would have a problem using Nick Chubb and uh what do you call Kareem Hunt at the same time? Name another coach in the league that would decide to let me run four practice squad players out there over Kareem Hunt in the slot and uh, Nick Chubb in the backfield. They should have been playing the whole game. I'm sorry. I would have never had these practice squad players in there. I would have had Njoku out wide. And my buddy said this, and I, I even said this. He should have been playing. I think Njoku should be the receiver. I really do. I've said this early in the year. But I would have had Njoku catching balls as a wide receiver, Chunt, or Chunt, Hunt in the slot, and uh, Chubb in the backfield. In a, in a fullback, I've said this today, is a waste of a roster for us. Both our guys can pick up the blitz. We don't need a full black. Full black. We don't need a full back. Oh, he's racist. He's a full black. But I want Stefanski fired. The guy's one in. He's zero. He's going to be zero and four. We're going to get. He's going to have three blowout losses: the Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Because tomorrow he's getting blown out. I consider the Ravens' loss a blowout. If it wasn't for Mayfield, he brought us back. It would have been a blowout. Stefanski, I want him fired. And, and he, Browns fans, you guys are clueless if you want to keep Stefanski. The guy is a fucking clown. He is so preoccupied with inventing the wheel, reinventing the wheel, that he blew the game. All he had to do was settle down, start running the ball. There's no excuse to run the ball 15, 18 times and pass the ball 53. What type of NFL coach would say, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the ball 53 times to back up our squad, practice squad receivers? When I got Kareem Hunt, who hardly gets any snaps, I've never seen a guy led the league in rushing two years ago. He's not getting no snaps at all. Uh, and David and Joku, no wonder he wants out of Cleveland. They don't even use the motherfucker. If I'm Kareem Hunt, I know Kareem, Kareem Hunt. If I'm Kareem Hunt, I know he loves Cleveland. Uh, I go to management and I say, you know, trade me to a team that will use me. I hate to say it, but this Browns team's going nowhere under Stefanski. Stefanski cannot, he doesn't know how to use his players. He doesn't know how to use his personnel. Why the fuck do we have these slow-ass white tight ends in the starting lineup? Austin Hooper's as big as me and as slow as me. And he uh, can't catch every ball thrown to him. We paid him $40 million. Why is, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, that, that scrub we drafted, uh, Harrison Bryant, in the game. He sucks. He can't catch. He's slow. 
David Njoku should be on the field at all fucking times. And it makes me sick that David Njoku will go somewhere next year and catch 80 passes of tight end and dominate. Dominate. And he could do that in Cleveland, but he's not on the field. Kareem Hunt. We did our first... Let, let, let this, you know how many bubble screens Kareem Hunt did in, in uh, Kansas City when he was rookie year? I counted them. 37. 37. It was 27. But let me, let me explain something to you. Our first screen of the day was 58 minutes and 30 seconds into the game, which went for 32 yards. Why wasn't it called earlier? They were bringing pressure the whole fucking game. I'm a coach. I know I'm losing my left. My left tackle's gone. My right guard's gone. What am I going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pass the ball 53 times. I'm setting my quarterback up to fail. I'm, I'm not giving him a chance. I'm putting him in the worst position ever. I want my quarterback to have a chance to succeed. I'm going to have to hand the ball off. Play action. Create running lanes instead of the half, same halfback dive every fucking time. Stefanski's got to go. I understand it's a good story. Cleveland, they finally have their head coach. No, we don't. We don't have a head coach when he can't beat the division rivals. Well, I'm not talking Cincinnati. I'm talking Pittsburgh and fucking Baltimore. I gave him a pass in the opening week because it was opening week. No, what a Zoom calls, whatever. No preseason. Pittsburgh game was an, was an embarrassment. And even the Baltimore game last week was an embarrassment too. David and Joker should have been used more. Cream Hunt should have been used more. And then yesterday, there's no excuse. You know you're down players. You decided to roll with practice squad players over Kareem Hunt and David Njoku. I want Kevin Stefanski fired because I have a feeling at 2.30 next Sunday, it's going to be 28-3 to Pittsburgh, and you're all going to say this guy's got to go anyway. I hope I'm wrong. I hate Kevin Stefanski. Kevin, you fucked the Brown season up. When we look back at this, look at this. Hold up real quick. What's up, bro? She wants fed. She's sitting there patiently. When we look back at this season, Kevin, you're the reason we didn't make the playoffs, not Baker, not anybody else. You're the reason we didn't make the playoffs because you couldn't adapt on the fly. You couldn't do the logical thing. Left tackles out, right guards out. Let's run the ball. Let's try to establish the run. You didn't even attempt to. You said we're going to line up and throw the ball 53 times. You did the same thing against the Las Vegas Raiders. In a windstorm, you lined up. I think you threw the ball 47 times that game when they ran the ball like 60 times. You decided. We, were, we lost that game 13-6, to six, Kevin. You got to go, Kevin. You had your one shot at a, at a head coaching job. You'll never get another one. You are a fucking clown. You blew the Browns' chances for fucking redemption. I hate Kevin Stefanski now. I want him fired. Unless he beats Pittsburgh. And if he doesn't, I want him fired immediately after the game. We can get any coach to come in here and coach this talent. Even Freddie Kitchens went 2-2 two and two against Baltimore and Pittsburgh. And this guy's going to go 0-4 against them. How can we keep that? Think about that.